In a new composition, let's start by adding a new solid layer. On this solid layer, apply the Wave the Path plugin. You'll find it under Effect, Wave Effects, Wave the Path. Next, we need to add a new mask path. We're going to use this mask to generate a stroke. In the path parameter, select the mask you want to use. From here, you can adjust the stroke width. And you can also choose whether you want a solid color or a gradient. Next, in the Wave Settings group, the Wave Amplitude parameter controls the size of the waveform. The Wave Frequency parameter controls how many waves appear along the path. The Wave Animation Speed parameter sets how fast the waveform moves. Increasing the value speeds up the animation. The Wave Phase Offset parameter lets you shift the phase of the waveform or manually animate it if needed. You also have several wave types available. The Classic Sin Wave, Triangle Wave, Square Wave, Saw Up Wave, and Saw Down Wave. In the Effectors Settings group, we can select a second mask. This mask drives the amplitude of the waveform. As you can see, it's very precise and responsive. The Effector Adjustment parameter controls the strength of the effector inside the mask. The Effector Smoothing parameter controls how the effector's influence falls off outside the mask. In simple terms, these two parameters determine whether the effect begins closer to the mask edges or extends farther outward. What's nice is that you can quickly switch which mask you want to use as the effector. Next, let's explore the Rotation Group. The Rotation Group includes three axes, the X axis, the Y axis, and Z axis. It also includes a Zoom parameter, which lets you zoom in or out. And you'll find a Wave Axis Control, which sets the direction the waveform is pointing. When you combine rotation with the features we saw earlier, you can create some really unique results. Let's take a quick look at the performance group, which includes several useful features. The quality parameter, as the name suggests, controls the render quality of the stroke. I recommend switching it to high when you're ready to export. Since standard quality is optimized for real-time responsiveness, there's also an anti-aliasing option if you need to smooth the edges even further. The Subdivision Density parameter lets you add more subdivisions to the path when needed. If you notice any jittering with more complex wave types or at lower resolutions, increasing the subdivisions will usually fix it. Just avoid pushing it too high as it will increase the processing time. You'll also find a corner smoothing feature which helps create smoother transitions on sharp corners and prevents phase discontinuities in the waveform. The gradient smoothing option lets you blur the gradient transitions. 
You can choose between two methods, box and bilateral. Bilateral is more precise and is especially helpful when the path overlaps itself. Finally, the expand bounds feature adds extra padding around the layer, giving the effect more room to render and preventing any unwanted cropping. Enjoy the plugin and feel free to share your thoughts. Thank you so much.